Question time on Wednesday was a scrappy affair. There was some of the expected to and fro about the restoration of Australian knights and dames. But with only one sitting day left before the long break leading up to the May budget, both sides were keen to start positioning themselves in preparation for Budget Day. The Prime Minister made two policy choices yesterday. He reintroduced knights and dames to the Australian Honours List and his government voted in the House yesterday to cut $211 payments from the children of orphans. Prime Minister, don't these choices reflect the government's cruel and twisted priorities? Nice to get a question from the Honourable Bill Shorten, who has on his front bench uh, the Honourable Mr Mark Dreyfus, Queen's Counsel. We seem to have a new tactic of having an outburst of infectious laughter. <laughs> Ma Madam Speaker, are you ruling people out of order because they're laughing? <laughs> the member will resume his seat. The Prime Minister has the call and you can regard yourselves as universally warned. <laughs> The Prime Minister has chosen to break his pre-election promises on education, cutting money from schools, trade training centres and research and development. Yeah, yeah. Prime Minister, don't these choices reflect the government's lack of vision and its twisted priorities? This isn't a question, this is a sneer, and it's a false sneer. It's a sneer and a smear from a Member of Parliament who should know better. How does the Prime Minister explain the following priorities? breaking election promises by cutting health and education, cutting payments to orphans of, orphans of veterans but paying some Australians $75,000 to have a baby, cutting protections against bigotry but not fighting for Australian jobs, awarding knighthoods but cutting the wages of cleaners. The Leader of the Opposition is humming Rural Britannia across the table uh, when in fact what happened yesterday was the restoration was 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 the restoration of knighthoods and damehoods in the order of Australia. Why does the government have a plan to bring back knighthoods and dames but no plan for Australian jobs? This is a government which is capable of doing <laughs> several things at the same time, but Madam Speaker, our priority is lifting the burdens on Australian families. Yeah, yeah. And last week we tried to scrap the carbon tax and Labor made the carbon tax stay. Given the Prime Minister ruled out scrapping his $5.5 billion gold-plated paid parental leave scheme in question time on the 27th of February, will the Prime Minister now give senior Australians the same certainty and rule out any cuts to the age pension? If you're talking about benefits to pensions, we want to take the carbon tax off the pensioners of Australia and Labor is voting to keep it on them. Shame, Labor. Shame. Why has the Treasurer chosen to double budget deficits over the next four years in his mid-year economic statement by adding $68 billion in new spending and changes to economic assumptions? Uh, the fact is our numbers tell the truth and Labor's didn't. I refer the Treasurer to the fact that budget deficits have doubled on his watch, adding $68 billion across the forward estimates. If the Treasurer believes you're in a budget emergency, why have you doubled the deficit? Because it's your deficit. $123 billion of labour deficit, and the numbers the tell the truth.